everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm coming to you with my quick tips and tricks on Monday and we are still using the Stamparatus and this time I am going to be using the Wild Rose stamp set because it has multiple stamping and sometimes it's very hard when you're using the individual blocks to line these up to make sure that they come out really perfectly. So we're going to put this together and I'll show you some quick tips, especially if you want to make multiples of these. So what we're going to do is first we're going to use a scrap piece of paper. And because these are foldable polymer, we need our little um, sponge here. I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to line it up right at my little line like I always do. I am going to bring in my... Um, my magnets here then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place this one down first because this is the one that we want um, as our base the lighter color so I'm gonna flip this over I'm gonna put it down like this I'll bring this over and I'm gonna stamp this up like that Okay, just making sure this is all good. I'm going to be using Petal Pink. Now this is all sample, trial and error. We're doing it on a scrap paper first. Because the tricky part, this isn't tricky, but you'll see where the tricky part comes in. So we're gonna stamp this up. And I'm not gonna worry if it's not perfect because I'm using scrap paper and it might not absorb good. I just want the outline so I know where to set to line up line number or line number stamp number two so this is stamp number two and it has to be lined up just so so that looks okay to me it's the very next one that you want to make sure now I'm a little far away from it I'm going to pull it into me yeah I want them lined up just like that. Okay, I think turning it just a little bit because this corner wasn't lined up. Okay, so now we're going to pick up this one just like we did the other one. We're going to pick it up. Oh, and we're going to stamp that. And we're going to see if we are right. And I think it came out pretty good. I didn't stamp real good up there, but I'm not worried about that. Like I said, I'm worried about lining it up right now. That's why we have the scrap paper. Now we're going to bring in the last one here and we're going to line this up. So this is the outline I think it might go this way yeah this is the outline for it so we're gonna line the outline up I think that looks pretty good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean this I'm not removing it I'm just cleaning that off I'm gonna pick this up I'm gonna take it out I'm going to flip it around. So now I have the back side. My stamp's on this side. There's nothing over here. I'm going to put this down. Oh, I thought I put that on wrong. And I'm going to pick this one up. So now I have this one picked up. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Poppy Parade. And I'm going to stamp on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push this down. Hopefully, if we did it all right, it'll line up all really nice. And it did. It lined up really good. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to take my scrap piece of paper out of the way. I'm going to clean up this stamp. i got to turn this back around because I need this one as first. So put this one down. I'm going to bring in our scrap piece of paper. I'm going to line it up right here on the edge. Like I always do. Put a magnet on that. 
And then I'm going to start with our lightest color, which is petal pink. Let me put this back in the camera now that a little better. Now I want to make sure they look nice. So if I have to restamp them, I can. But if you're doing a bunch of get well cards or thinking of you cards or whatever you're doing, you know, you want to make sure you do it multiple times. So we're going to push this down hard now so that all that ink absorbs in. And if you don't, if you don't have the pressure to push it down hard, just do it again. That's the wonderful thing about having the Stamparatus. See, I think it could do it again. They made that may be marks that and I'm gonna push it over. I'm gonna give it a good little push with my palm in the middle. I don't know. I think they might be something that I'm not gonna have to worry about. I'm gonna leave it. If I go any darker, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between the colors. This color will lighten a little bit as you go along. So now we're using this one up here. So we're going to stamp this up really good, and we're stamping this one up with the crystal coral. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, oh, I got a cut on a marker there. We're going to bring this up and over, and I'm going to push it hard in different places, or just stamp and do it again. I'm, I'm really tapping. I don't know if it looks like I'm holding it here more hard and I'm tapping over there. And that came out really good. I'm very happy with that. Now we're going to take this one. Remember, this was the... Make sure it's clean so you don't get it on anything on the other side. We're going to flip it over. And now we got the base, the one we need. Then we are going to take Poppy Parade. I'm going to take this one. And we're going to stamp it up, bring it over, and apply a little pressure, bounce on it, hold pressure with this hand or whatever and bounce on it, like that. And there you go. We have done a really good rose. Is that not nice? And as the colors lighten, because they always do and absorb into your paper, you can always see that the... Uh, petal pink is already starting to lighten up there the color will look much lighter but you just pick three of your colors that you want to put for a flower and you just create and they have the leaf one that's in this set so you can do it with three different colors leaves so it gives it a tone on tone and on my blog under um on my blog I have some cards that I made with this set so go over there and check it out too it's at createwithbond at blogspot.com. So, um, yeah, go check that out. So, um, that's my quick tip or tips for the Stamparatus. When I have more tips, I will bring them to you as I go along. These are just some of my tips that I use often. So, um, if you give them a try, if you like these quick tips on the Stamparatus, please give me a like subscribe and share my video. Thank you everybody. Bye-bye.